Hello, everybody. Hello, brothers and sisters. So what prophecies have yet to be fulfilled? And we're seeing a lot of these prophecies about to be fulfilled. Well, the prophecies that are yet to be fulfilled for the Jewish people, as you will see, there is one horrible one followed by several glorious ones, right? There's always suffering. There's always pain before the breakthrough, before the light shines, right? The first is another holocaust, unfortunately. This will occur during the second half of the tribulation. The Jews will become the focus of the Antichrist's wrath. He will seek to annihilate them and will succeed in killing two-thirds of them. Zechariah 13, 8 through 9. And it shall come to pass that in all the lands, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Repentance. The second prophecy yet to be fulfilled is repentance. The suffering of the tribulation will bring the Jewish people to the end of themselves, and they will repent before the Lord. Deuteronomy 4.30 When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, and thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shall be obedient unto his voice. Salvation The third future prophecy yet to be fulfilled is salvation. As a result of their repentance at the end of the tribulation, a great remnant of the Jews will accept Yeshua as their Messiah or their Mashiach and they will be saved. Zechariah speaks of this glorious event. Zechariah 12.10 And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Yerushalayim the spirit of grace and of, supp and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Yeshua himself stated that he would not return to this earth until a remnant of the Jews were ready to receive him as their Messiah by crying out, Baruch Hava Vashem Adonai, or blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's in Matthew 23, 39, in the Brit Hadashah, or the, uh, or the New Covenant. Regathering in belief. The fourth prophecy yet to be fulfilled is the regathering of the Jewish people in belief. They are being regathered now in unbelief, but there is another regathering in the future. When Yeshua returns, he is going to regather all the Jews on planet Earth who have put their faith in him. This regathering is mentioned in several places in the Hebrew Scriptures and the Tanakh, and specifically the Torah. Here is one from the time of Moshe or Moses. Deuteronomy 30, 1-4 and it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set thee before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether that the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Hallelujah. Primacy. The fifth and final prophecy that the Lord will fulfill when, begins, when he begins his millennial reign will be the, established, will be the establishment of Yisrael as the prime nation of the world. Yeshua will reign from Yerushalayim as king of the world. Dawid, or David, in his glorified body will reign as the king of Yisrael. We, in our glorified bodies, will be scattered across the earth to reign with Yeshua over the Gentile nations. Isaiah devotes three full chapters, 60 to 63, to a description of the blessings that God will pour out on the Jewish people during the millennium, his 1,000-year millennial reign on earth, literal. He proclaims that God will Make Yerushalayim a praise in the earth, Isaiah 60-7. Zechariah describes the glory of the Jews with these words. Zechariah 8.22-23 Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass, that ten men shall take hold out 
of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. That is so beautiful. The messages. Let's conclude by considering the messages we can draw from the Bible concerning Israel and end time prophecy. God's word is true and reliable. God is on his throne and in control. God is faithful to keep all his promises. God still loves the Jewish people and has a great purpose for them. Never believe in replacement theology. The church, the body of Christ, has never replaced Israel. If that's, if that's the case, then if God can break a covenant with the Jews, then he can easily break a covenant with us, right? Think about it. Next, we are living on borrowed time because the fulfillment of these prophecies proves that Yeshua is returning soon. God bless you all.